The heliostat is basically a two-axis robot that needs to look through the sky at the sun all day. One part is performance, where we're saying we have to have our heliostats keep their spot on the target so that we can accurately follow the sun and capture the energy. The second is cost. These things have to be cheap enough or we'll never be able to compete with any of the other existing technologies that are out there, including coal. Finally, these are real life systems. They have to sit out in the field for 25 to 30 years and still provide that performance. If we look at some of the large scale field installations that are going in, you find relatively solid mirror reflectors. You find precision actuation made with large gears and precision motors. And you find uh, anchors into the ground that are precisely situated and anchored with concrete. And all of that costs a lot of money. Less metal means less cost. In a typical mirror module, there's a steel structure that's supporting the reflector, and the reflector is just kind of going along for the ride. We decided that if we need to use that glass material as a reflector, let's also use it as, as a structural component and use its stiffness and its strength to uh, take cost out of the other components of the mirror module. Conventional means of solar thermal power generation are based around very ruggedly engineered heliostats laid out on carefully surveyed, graded, landscaped fields very precisely aligned so that they can be run under open-loop control. We're working with a closed loop system. At every point in time, we know exactly where this heliostat mirror is positioned and we know where its reflection is pointing. And as a result, we can build structures that have much less material and much lower cost. The realization that led us to this new method of fine tracking of a heliostat's reflected sunspot was that we can actually use photometry. What we're talking about is putting cameras around the target looking back at the heliostat field. So for example, if the ground settles, or the frame deforms a little bit, the software will automatically compensate for uh, that change. Software is really cheap once you finish writing it. It doesn't matter how many alloys that we build, it's going to be the same price everywhere. We believe that by demonstrating this, uh, there will be other people who will want to adopt some of this technology and make solar energy cheaper.